series this week on the main channel we have julian does from msus plains playing as joker against gregory from another college playing as pyra mithra and currently on mithra right now mithra's already taken an early lead against joker but let's see if julian can learn how to counter mithra's moves because i know we've been practicing specifically a joker pyramithra combo so let's see what he's took away from those practices this is a really good pyramithra player though the trick with pyramithra is to get a lot of your damage like get them to at least 50 60 percent while on mithra who's faster and has like faster blocks and then go to Pyro, which is a heavier hitter, which is exactly what Gregory's doing. And that's hard to counter, but I know Julian knows how to counter, and he's going to get this. Maybe not the first round, but he still has time to make up. There we go, finally getting some hits in. If he can land these projectiles, that is going to be his biggest bonus. The hard part about it is Mithra is such a fast character, like one of the fastest sword fighters in the game. So you have to move basically perfectly when you're a slower character to be able to dodge the attacks. But he is getting the hang of it. And I know one thing that's also going to come into play is if he can get him get them on that ledge, because that is going to make a huge difference. Because Joker has a really guard led, really good ledge guarding move, and just like that, it's two stocks to two stocks. He's got a little bit higher percentage, but I think he can make it up. Joker also has a killer recovery. Oh, trying to get those combos in is going to be his biggest help. Because if he can get her in the air and keep her in the air, it's going to work a lot better at getting a lot of damage fast, which is what he needs to catch up a little more. Oh, good block. They're really trying to get that Robin and Sparkles move to land, but that's hard on the stages like Pokemon Stadium 2 with both the platforms. Alright, we are one stock to two stock right now, but Julian still has time to catch up. I've seen him catch up way more than this. Also, we play Smash best of five, so it's the first person to win three individual rounds. Each round has three stocks. Catching up a little bit with those projectiles. Oh, that was a good grab. I think grabbing is one of the hardest parts of this game. It seems like one of the easier moves, because, I mean, every character has a grab, and they're mostly pretty similar. But I just think it is so hard to get that close to another player before they have the reaction time to spam their neutral and attack you. We see Joker's good recovery coming into play here a lot, getting thrown off those ledges and hanging on down at the bottom with the grappling hook. Ooh. And just like that, the first round is over. The score is 0-1. to one. We'll be right back.
right, everybody, we are back with round two. They both kept the same pick, so we still have Pyro Mithra versus Joker. Our, ju our very own player, Julian Does, is playing as Joker again. But now that he's getting better at countering, I think this round is going to have a very different outcome than the first round. But I still think these are going to be close matches because these are both two really good players in the Contender Series. I know Julian's already got a few wins this season. I don't know about the other player. Getting an early lead off of Julian again. This Mithra comes in really fast, just giving everything she's got. Oh, got caught by the burning sword move. There is just barely a way to escape this ledge guarding they're throwing. I think we may need to pick a different counter for Pyramithra because it looks like Joker is just not able to get in there right. But right now there's still three stocks to three stocks, so I guess technically they're even. Oh, a nice heavy damage move. Can he keep her up? Oh, just barely got, but hey, he already has 67% damage. This game is already turning around. Julian has a really huge tendency to start off kind of just getting used to the other player's moves and like the way they play that fighter and then getting better at countering it. Like he really spends the first stock kind of focusing in and then he just gives it everything he's got. And sometimes that ends up him taking a pretty big lead. So sometimes that studying works out in his favor, which is what we're hoping happens today. It's already got 129% off of Pyra. But one thing about Pyra is she takes so much damage. Unless you hit with just the right move, she can get up to like 150, 200 damage before she KOs. Because she's considered like a heavier hitter character. There we go. Julian evading tactics. Oh. Barely missed on that up move. Got caught by the neutral B. He has got her on 139% and she switched back to Mithra, which is going to kill it easier. Oh. He's got his little, I'm not sure what the guy that stands behind him is, but basically he gets it when he reaches a certain percent damage. It charges him up and it makes him like more powerful. I think that's also why he's so good at making these comebacks. Two stocks to one stock right now. We're on the second round, so even if we lose this round, there is still hope. But we're hoping Julian can make a pretty impressive comeback. But this Pyramithra player is just really hard to counter. They use their shields really well. He was able to get back on the stage. Let's see if he can do any damage before he gets KO'd. He is definitely getting better at avoiding some of these moves that they're throwing, though. He was able to evade the ledge guarding attempt. Throw his own projectile. And that is game. The score is 0-2. to two. We'll be right back with the next round.
they are sticking with the same picks again. We're about to start our third round. If the opponent Gregory wins this round, that will be the end of tonight's game. But if Julian can make a comeback like we're hoping he does, he's already avoiding Mithra's early hard attacks that she's trying to throw, where she just goes in it, giving it everything she's got. He's getting a lot better at those dodges, which is really hard to dodge because she's such a fast character. It's already more evenly matched than our first rounds have usually been, which is a good sign. Oh my gosh! Oh, he was able to avoid that ledge guarding technique. I know when I play Pyra, I always throw the burning sword way too much. It's just such a good move if you can land it. All right. One good thing about this map, even though I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be playing it, is that using those ledges or those platforms in the stage is going to make it harder for some of Pyra and Mithra's attacks to land because they're going to hit the platform, not go all the way down. So if Julian can figure out like the, spe the certain places to avoid those moves, it's going to be helpful. Right now they're three stocks to two stocks, about even percentages. I'm pretty sure they're playing on Distant Planet right now. But usually the stages they're allowed to play on is they have their starter stages, so they have Smashville, Town and City, Small Battlefield, Regular Battlefield, and Pokemon Stadium 2, and then they have their counterpick stages that add in after the first round is over, where they can also play on Kalo's Pokemon League or... Hollow Bastion, which is what they played on last round. Oh, it looked like that hit, but just didn't do any damage. I think that's one of Joker's blocks. There we go, avoiding that. And he got a stock off. Now it is tied two stocks to two stocks, although he is at a bit higher of a percentage. We really need him to make a comeback so we can keep this game going. Oh. Shield ran out at just the wrong time. She was able to basically fully hit with the burning sword move. Which is not ideal because that move does so much damage. Especially if you're caught into the whole thing. Oh, that was a good block technique. All right, Julian is down to one stock, but he already has 43% off of Mithra, so hopefully he can make a comeback. 51% now, over halfway there. 50 more percent, and we will be tied. Seventy-three percent damage now, but Julian's at fifty. We're gonna see how this round could go. Oh. She is just trying everything she's got right now. This is not looking good. And that is game, guys. The final score is 0-3. to three. Thank you for watching. Next week, we'll be streaming Dustin.